Good morning, Calvary Chapel, French Valley. I want to start this morning reading out of uh, Isaiah 6. Um, Deb and I were at a thing, and um, I heard this this uh, scripture, and um, I want to elaborate on it just a few minutes. Rick told me I had 30 minutes. I'm only going to take about 10. <laughs> <laughs> holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Amen. The whole earth is full of his glory. The whole earth. And, I th- and what hit me about that scripture is that Um, we need to understand that the earth demonstrates God's glory. We see it in sunrises. We see it in sunsets. We see it when somebody does something good and um, we can see the hand of God working. But we also neglect at times to understand the preeminence of God. And so when things come our direction we will sometimes forget about the glory of God, the, 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 the preeminence of God, and we'll go do things like, I'll call my friend and ask for his advice, or I'll call a counselor and ask for their advice, and I'll call a pastor and ask for the pastor's advice instead of going to the preeminent one first. Because what God calls us to do is to seek his face. And what is so important is that, and as we teach, that we all understand that God is alive, he is creator, and he should be first in our life. Now, that's so important because, um, I'll be honest, you know, some of the people that I might go to and ask for advice in a particular crisis, they might not be the brightest person. You know, they may not be connected with the Lord, and they might give me some advice that uh, the Lord is not wanting us to hear. And so it's so important to be in the Word, reading the Word, because the Lord speaks to us every day. The second part of that, and that happened this week, Chad's wife, Teresa, experienced um, a medical problem, and um, after you know, all the 911 calls and all of that, Chad put that out. And the body of Christ began to pray. The body of Christ came alongside of. And God did some really miraculous things. Would you say that, Chad? Here's, here's the important part of all of this. We have creator God to go to. We have fellow Christian brothers and sisters that can come alongside and hold our arms up. And we should never be fearful, be ashamed, be neglectful of going to God first and then fellow brothers and sisters. Because that's what the fellowship of the saints is all about. The world's a tough place, getting worse pretty consistently. But greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world. Let's pray. Father, we are just blessed to know that you are always there for us, that you teach us in your word to seek after you, to seek your wisdom, to seek your guidance. Lord, convict our heart that that's where we go first. And then, Lord, I I thank you for this fellowship that we can bring before individuals and this body our prayer needs, Father, our issues. Because in that, Father, you are working through this fellowship to lift people up, to touch them through our touch as we are taught the word and as we worship in truth. So, Lord, just bless us to be a blessing this day. Thank you for the opportunity to see your glory. It is everywhere, Father. Help us to appreciate you in our worship, in the teaching, in each other. I do lift up Teresa for a special touch upon her right now in Jesus' name. I pray for those that are struggling, Father, whether it be physically or emotionally, 
that you would give us words of wisdom and knowledge to come alongside. Lord, allow this church to be truly ambassadors for Jesus Christ. We love you and give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, there are multiple things going on at the, around the church. You can go to ccfv.life and you can see the um, Bible studies that are happening, both ma male, male and female, because he made us male and female, in case you were wondering. Um, you can see what's happening. I know uh, a lot of the ladies have uh, been twisting my arm to make sure that I encourage the ladies to be a part of the, uh, uh, the women's uh, Bible studies. Pastor Rick and I had a pretty intense conversation not too long ago, and he, was, he had hands around my neck. It was kind of interesting. And he said, make sure you tell people that it's the Bible study. So make sure you go and you participate in the Bible studies, you know, that, because that's the word coming alive. Um, but go to ccfv.life because you'll hear the events that are going on. And men's prayer breakfast is coming up in a few weeks. The prophecy update, the future today. And in case you don't know, there's a lot happening prophetically every single day. There's fulfillment that's just interesting to watch as, as God does something just truly magnificent. So with um, our ability to come alongside, you know, God uh, is wanting to show us, to teach us, to hold us up. And so let's, let's be a part of that in, in the ways that we can. I want you to pray for um, the California election that's coming up. Uh, I think it's in September. So be in prayer over who God will install there. Pray for uh, the United States government. In case you're wondering, they need a lot of help. And the Israeli government, because they're in a similar place. Um, progressives and progressivism um, has infiltrated both governments. And so we need to be aware of that. And God has called us to be prayer warriors. So with that, let's pray and get into worship. Father, you're God. We can rely upon you in everything. I pray, Father, that as we do worship you in spirit and in truth, that you would receive our worship, uh, Father, as a sweet aroma. I pray for Pastor Rick that you would just encourage him, strengthen him, embolden him to teach the word, uh, Father, as you call him to do. We do pray for the California election that you, Father, would be glorified in who becomes the governor. That leadership is so important and we ask for your involvement. Pray for the United States government, whether it be the president or Congress, Father, our state governments, that you would work in such a way to bring revival to America. And I pray for revival to come to America, Father. I pray for men and women and youth, Father, to catch your vision and shout the name of Jesus Christ. We do pray for Israel, Father. You call us to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we pray, Lord, that your perfect will would be done there. I pray for conviction. I pray, Father, that you would even today soften the hearts, take the veil off of those that will come to a knowledge of you. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>